You like it? Yeah. Okay. So it's better than South Park and SpongeBob, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is something that all of, all of you younger generation need to go back to start looking into all these things. Going to different, uh, you know, the YouTube is a, is a wonderful a wonderful source of a primary source of information for you to get alternatives point of view. I know that your generation is a millennial generation. It's a very technological savvy. You have a lot of interest in this, but in order for you to understand history, start researching on your own. And not just history, but also alternative history. History is not, the, the word historical facts is a, an oxymoron. You know what an oxymoron is? Something that does not work, go hand in hand, for example. Historical facts. There is no historical facts. History do not, is not based on facts because they are memories. Memory is the greatest liar. You can't remember what you ate last week at 9, at 10.30, right? How could you remember what happened 50 years ago? And history depends on who writes history, who has the pen to write history. It is a moment when somebody witnesses history, write his or her own account, and then use that to publish, to produce a historical document, where it's based on memory, but the, the, the irony is that we cannot call it historical facts. You can call scientific facts, yes. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Water freezes at zero degree Celsius. That's immutable facts. History is not immutable. It is constructed by people who has the power to write history. This is an example of what historical interpretation is. Right. All right, briefly, how, how, you know, how does colonialism work? How do people colonize each other? Or how do the, the ones who have the power colonize the ones who are powerless? First of all, you inscribe language. For example, just when you go back to Malaysia, look at the street names. How much street names have changed? You know, example, in the north, in the south, in, in, in Kelantan, names of the streets are based on names of people, names of uh, natural things, trees. You know, uh, like for example, in Perlis, uh, in Kedah, right? Uh, in Perlis, Kedah, places like Tambun Tulang, for example. You know, it is not a very nice scientific name, not like Jalan Germanium in MMU, Multiple University of Jalan uh, Omic Omicron, right? uh, Jalan, what else? Jalan... Uh, platinum. Yeah, Platinum. You know, what does that mean? Is, is there a history of Germanium and Platinum in, 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 in our country, in Malaysia? There is a history of Tambun Tulang, yes. Jin Betenda, yes. You know, Durian Tunggal, single Durian. <laughs> that's yeah. That's where Paramesara actually has should have sat under a durian tree. <laughs> you know, he sat under a Malacca tree after you know um, uh, attempted murder in some uh, other kingdom. He ran away to Tamase and he killed Tamagi. I think Tamagi was eating Maggi at the time. So. <laughs> so he killed Tamagi and ran to this place called Malacca and sat under a tree and saw a dog kicking a, a reindeer, a uh, kantil, and said, wow, you know, this is a nice place to set up a kingdom. What tree am I sitting under? <laughs> oh, it's called Malacca tree. Well, actually, the story is that he wanted to sit under a durian tree. <laughs> and he sat under a durian tree, the durian fell on him, we will not have any history. <laughs> <laughs> the history would be different. The Malacca uh, kingdom would not, be, would not have existed. It would be something else, right? Kerajaan Germanium or, <laughs> or Platinum, whatever. All right. So you inscribe something, you change the name, right? If you want to colonize people, you install something. Installation cannot not just be in the form of installing buildings, institution, but also you install politics, education, and culture. You inspire the people. You want to colonize people, you go to the elite group. You educate them, send them to England, send them to Russia, send them to China, send them to Japan, 
send them to America, you create an elite group. So that when they come back, they can govern the country like little brown brothers. Have you heard the, do you, are you familiar with the word little brown brothers? No. Okay, read Mahatma Gandhi's work and also British Imperial. So what do you read? We'll talk about it later. What, what to read and what not to read. And you impress things upon the masses. The institutionalized bureaucracy and technology. The British created bureaucracy, the Indians perfected it. Very bureaucratic. Right? You create ideologies, you create mission and vision of a country so that whatever that you create, you're sure to make sure that that is going to be your ideology. And many political parties have ideology. Right? Party Islam Malaya has ideology to set up an Islamic government, state, whatever that means. Right? A state of peace. Islam, Islamic state means a state of peace. Right? Party uh, Kadyan Rayat has his own ideology to create a multicultural, uh, multicultural uh, uh, government. DAP has its own Malaysian Malaysia as an ideology. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Amno does not have an ideology, for example. Right? Find out what I mean by this. The ideology is to create what? Right? To find out. Because all of you are in the club Amno, New York, New Jersey. What is the ideology? What is the end result? Right? Socialism has an ideology to create a state in which everyone supposedly should share each other's wealth in a form of egalitarianism and and equity and equality. Communism has an ideology. In the end, there is no rule of the elite. It's only the rule of the proletariat. Islamic government, Islamic revolution has an ideology in Iran. And it has succeeded after the 1979 revolution started by Khomeini. Right? So again, colonialism has ideological component and when you want to colonize people, you individualize them, you fragment the masses. Make them, split them, not just in different groups, but also the mind. Split the mind, split the consciousness, create chaos, create excitement in the consciousness, and make them highly, highly individualized. Right? Sell individualism to them. This one very short video. Yeah.